In this video, we're going to look at quadratic graphs of the form y equals kx squared. Well, the main thing to note about a graph of this form is that it, it goes through the origin, 0, 0. That's where its turning point is. And if k is positive, this k here, then it's a happy curve, like the one we've got over here. And if k is negative, it's a sad curve. So it would look a bit like that. So normally what you get asked to do is you get given a uh, graph and a point, and you're asked to work out what the k is and state the equation of the curve. So what we need to do to find k is we sub in the point we know into our equation, and then we can work out what k is. So our equation is y equals kx squared. And I'm going to sub in the point 220. So the 2 is the x value and 20 is the y value. So we're going to get 20, so replace the y with 20, is equal to k times 2 squared. So we're going to have 20 equals, well, 2 squared is 4, so, so we've got 20 equals 4k. Divide both sides by 4, because I need to get k on its own. And we're going to get k equals 5. So that's the value of k. And then it wants to state the equation of the curve. So the equation of the curve is y equals 5x squared. So let's look at this uh, second question here. It goes through the point negative 3, negative 27. Now we're just looking at a sad curve, so I'll be expecting k to be a negative number. So I get my equation, y equals kx squared. I'm going to substitute in the point we know, which is negative 3, negative 27. So the y, well that's negative 27 at that point, is equal to k, well that's what we want to work out, times by negative 3 squared, put that in a bracket. So it's going to be negative 27 is equal to k times 9. That's what negative 3 squared is. So divide both sides by 9. And I'm going to get k is equal to negative 3, which is what I hope for because it's a sad curve, so I expect k to be negative. And therefore, the equation of the curve is y equals negative 3x squared.